Welcome back. Now that we've created our clock face and our hands, um, we're going to do the last step, which is to create a special effect that's going to simulate the reflection of glass uh, on the clock. Um, it's, it's an optional step. Uh, not everybody likes that look, but I think it's a nice effect, and I just want to like to show you how it's done. So uh, to start off, we are going to uh, use the, um, the ellipse tool and uh, make sure this clock face is locked. I happen to know mine is, but make sure it's locked before you attempt to do this. So then you click, hold down option, and let's make, let's make an ellipse and try to follow the contour of this clock face as closely as you can. Now, after I've drawn it, I'm going to use the black arrow key, select that, and make, and just, just nudge it down with the arrow key a little bit. This is about where I want that reflection to be. Now, don't worry about the fact that this is a, uh, a yellow reflection. This, uh, this is going to change once we go to the gradient palette. So I'm going to apply a gradient to this object now by clicking on the gradient tool. And then uh, I'm going to change the direction of that gradient to negative 90 degrees so that the light part is at the top and the dark part is at the bottom. Now we need to make changes to this gradient to give it a, a look as if it were an actual reflection. So to do that, um, we're going to go to the, trans, the gradient slider and we're going to double click on this little black crayon. And from here, we want to change the gradient from white to black to white to white. And I know that doesn't make sense, but if you go to opacity and choose zero, you'll see what happens is it goes to white to white gradient but it gradually goes to zero opacity, zero percent opacity as well. And that does a really nice job of making it look as if it were a reflection. Now it's still a little strong here at the top so we're going to go over to transparency and we're going to bump, bump that down to around 30 percent. Let's have a look at that. Eh, maybe a little more, maybe like 40 percent. There we go. Now before we export this, we've got a nice effect here, but we can make that a little better. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the arrow key, the white arrow direct selection key, and we're going to click here on this path until we get these little uh, handles that we can adjust the shape with. And we're going to click on that center anchor, and we're just going to drag it up. And we're going to create kind of a jelly bean or kind of a banana shape here. When you do that, that gives you a really nice reflection quality. It has that sort of rounded uh, dome shape that you would expect to see on, a, on, say, the face of a clock or a watch. So I like the way that looks. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to drag this off, and this will be the, uh, the effect that we're going to export. So our next steps, now that we've got all of our assets created, is to put these all on our boards. So to do that, we're going to click on the Artboard tool, this uh, little uh, sort of square with uh, hash marks on it. And we're going to use that to click and drag and, and surround each of these objects, which puts them on their own artboards. Now, don't worry about um, how big the artboards are. They have to include the entire object, but you don't... Um, want to overlap them or you don't want other objects to intrude upon the same artboard otherwise you'll when you export these things they're going to export bits of your other graphic which you're not going to want so you'll notice the white things and uh, disappeared that's okay they're still there you can kind of see uh, you can see that one there and see this one here they're there so our next step is to export these and i'm going to show you how to do that in the next video